Dr. Girish Mamaya and Lothar Pirz are working in India and other countries bringing the knowledge particularly of Mahashi Ayurveda to the highest levels of government, of healthcare and of education. So it will be a joy to hear from them today and Girish please go ahead. Okay, so uh, last year and the beginning of this year, Lothar and myself had uh, uh, visited a few important conferences in India. And uh, the first one was in uh, south of India, Trivandrum. It, is, uh, it was the biggest assembly of uh, the year. It was uh, Global Ayurveda Assembly. Um, unfortunately, uh, Lothar could not join, so I was by myself in that. Um, the conference had like uh, 7,500 delegates, and um, there were 1,000 scientific presentations on different areas of Ayurveda. Uh, in there. 1,000 poster presentations were also there. Um, so it was very big. Um, I was invited as a uh, keynote speaker there and got a very good time, 40 minutes to myself and uh, uh, we, I brought it out, uh, brought out uh, Ayurveda and uh, importance of life according to natural law, importance of collective coherence and the cause of um, disharmony in society, the cause of wars and, and uh, conflicts as described in the text of Ayurveda, especially Charak Samhita and also Yoga Sudra. So, um, presentation of Marcy's knowledge and the uh, practical aspect of how to bring uh, peace in the world, especially the last um, research that was done in uh, uh, in USA on collective coherence, uh, in the Invincible India, uh, Invincible America Assembly. So that uh, brought a very good response. That uh, very practical aspects, which is verified and proven, uh, ho effect was spread all over the country in every area of negativity. So that was very, very nicely taken up in that conference. Uh, Global Ayurveda Festival, it was the fifth uh, conference of uh, this uh, this um, uh, group. And uh, uh, the uh, there was also what is called health fair. So whole uh, um, big stadium was uh, used for that and uh, uh, something like 200,000 visitors presented uh, to see. So that was open for everybody, whereas the conference with 7,500 7, delegates from 75 countries were Ayurveda specialists and people working in Ayurveda. So it was a, a very beautiful very major event and uh, Marshi was well received, well respected and uh, we got a very good exposure to that. So that was a good, good conference. It was a uh, totally five days conference there. Where was that? In Trivandrum in South India. Oh, same place? Uh, was same it linked? This, no, this is the one conference that I am oh. Others are where we both were there and I'll ask uh, Lothar <coughs> to go ahead and then I'll join it. Yeah, this is, uh, I'm presenting it on the on the stage. And then this is also Charak Samhita's text <laughs> explaining how to bring coherence and what is the cause of disharmony. And what is the cause according to Charak? Uh, Actually, exactly what Marshi says, the, the violation of natural law by the collective co consciousness of the society brings this uh, disarmament, it brings uh, chaos in the society, seasons don't come in time, sickness comes, viol violence gets, people start to 
get greedy and fight with each other they create uh, uh, enemies and fight mm. with killer instinct or they are attacked by the enemies all that is described in charak samhita and this is all due to in incoherent yes. disharmony in the Collective in the consciousness ha, huh? it says the adharma uh, increase of adharma in the whole society ah. by violation of uh, dharma by individuals oh. and its cause is pragya aparad like mm. the mistaken intellect that mm. conscious mistaken so impurity in consciousness causes that so it was very n- nicely and then beautiful just as mahashi said and then i was very interested to hear that you said that the the uh, scientific research on the mahashi effect at the invincible america assembly was was warmly received and understood taken up yes yes it's uh, really very profound and i, I have presented it many at mm. many occasions mm. and it is very effective very it opens eyes because um there various negativity in the society mm. like murder and mm. uh, assault and, and sickness yeah. every kind of things yeah. and which are like going high up and uh, along with the line of mm. the increasing the number of participant in coherence creating group and once that reaches 1750 yeah. the square root of 1% of united states population then all the trends throughout the country starts going down immediately immediately and they sim- everything simultaneously going down ah. and also there is a mean uh, of like yeah. average of yeah. all the yeah. things and that line is uh, indicated in red goes down and we had like this is extended up to 4 years yeah. 2007 yeah. to 2011 and till the group was there it continued were going down mm. and once the group um, reduced in mm. size and n- it was no more s- square root of 1% mm. Mm. everything again it continued to go down for mm. some mm. more time but then everything reversed yeah, back yeah. to the norm like high now i what interested me was that you said it was like so well received and people opened eyes in the past i never heard that so much it's like yeah. is it new that people are seeing this as a reality this yeah research? i think uh, especially in india they understand that how, what the rishis told what charak samhita said what yeah. uh, yoga said yeah text of yoga and now actually the vedic technology is there available to bring that and science has proved that and that is like you know Fantastic. that makes an effect there really yeah, yeah absolutely oh. and other places also like when i was in japan i had really got very good response from the assembly there also uh, presenting the same thing oh. and even when i had a met with the former prime minister of japan there and he gave me like almost 50 mm-hmm. 50 minutes of interview uh, like uh, mm-hmm. talk and he was also very impressed and he asked me to send him mm-hmm. this research results mm-hmm. so i sent him the whole uh, mm-hmm. actual paper mm-hmm. and uh, yeah it's a very very profound because it gives the whole country and for like continuous four years mm-hmm. every kind of crime is under control and once that number falls everything goes every kind of crime goes back up that's very heartening that people are be- now beginning to be able to see that this is a practical reality mm. because before they couldn't see it and yeah. uh, yeah. some scientific research but they they could not yeah. grasp it right right and uh, really like uh, in tokyo conference one of the participants stood up and said this lecture should have been heard by the leaders of the nations and prime ministers yeah. of the country should be at the stage right, listening right, to right. this so that it right. has a very profound effect collective consciousness should be hearing it yeah, <laughs> because the prime minister is the mirror of yeah, the collective yeah. consciousness yeah. anyway please go ahead sorry to interrupt so, lothar was uh, uh, i'll give to lothar for other conferences and i'll join in again jay gurudev so then we went uh, together to pune dr divai patil university 
Uh, we have a collaboration agreement with Marshi Vedic University here in the Netherlands and uh, I have been going there now for 13 years and uh, we have been teaching there for the last years. Every year the new students, Ayurveda students, about a hundred and uh, this is a picture of DPU, Dr. Levi Patil University, where I am also professor of practice in the online center of business administration with 10,000 students. It has just been awarded as the best online university of India. So this is here the group that Girish and myself, uh, with the help of two Indian TM teachers, taught 100 people transcendental meditation. And they had such good results. Here we were talking, Girish and myself, to the postgraduate students of the Ayurveda College there. And there is really a wonderful openness and appreciation for Maharshi's knowledge. We are also now in the process of um, conducting a scientific research study with the benefits of the students who have learned Transcendental Meditation in collaboration uh, with MIU. So the program is very well received and the results seem to be very good. They will come out shortly. So what, if it, what is being researched? It's uh, uh, like research into the effect of TM on emotional intelligence. Ah. So. Yeah. So this is the, the Ayurveda part, and then also Girish and myself, we met with uh, Professor Yola, the principal of the college, and uh, the president, uh, Dr. Patil, and we have been preparing um, the next international Ayurveda conference, our eighth conference will be there uh, from 1st of February 2025. And this university is so well equipped, the people are so nice there and it's really top-notch and they have, a, I think, for 1,200 people, they have a beautiful conference hall and we are sure the conference will be very well booked. Maybe, Girish, you would like to say a little bit more about the conference that we are preparing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's wonderful, like the, every two years we have International Ayurveda Congresses and this year especially we have been invited to hold the conference in Pune, the university, D.Y. Patil University, and uh, uh, it's a beautiful facility, very high class, uh, well equipped, um, um, with good infrastructure, this university, and we are hoping to have like, you know, something like 13, 1400 uh, participants, uh, India and from abroad there so uh, we are planning with the university uh, like the Mashi uh, international Mashi Ayurveda foundation uh, uh, directed by um, our health minister Rainaji and uh, the university then international um, academy of Ayurveda in Pune is also involved and all India Ayurveda congress is also involved so we are hoping to get good numbers there. And yeah, and we uh, will be having great scholars who present their uh, scientific research on Ayurveda. More and more research is coming out. Uh, this is now back in the center of online learning. They have uh, 10,000 students on the Master of Business Administration program, 3,000 from Africa. And I have been now there for two years, professor of practice. It's a great joy, I must really say. I have averaged uh, more than 1,000 students attending my online lessons. And uh, I'm teaching their basics of Mahashi Ayurveda, a little bit of Jyotish, a little bit of Mahashi Stapatya Veda, so that the students, when they come out and they start their companies or they get employed in senior positions, they know about the value of health for the individuals and the company and about selecting a good Buhurta and a good Vastu building. And it's actually um, Prime Minister Modi who introduced the law into India that all universities should be teaching Vedic knowledge to their mm. students. So they are really leading here and uh, they're very happy with the program. Students like it a lot. So it's a very wonderful collaboration that we have with the university. If we so from there we went to Ujain. Maybe Girish, you would like to explain?
explain a little bit yeah, to this conference? Uh, it's a very remarkable um, union of many spiritual organizations there. Uh, the conference was called United Consciousness Conclave and many uh, very renowned uh, um, speakers from India were there, very well-known speakers were there and uh, was done in a very very dignified manner um, um, they had given very good respect to our group Marshi with Marshi in background and uh, Lothar and myself uh, had good time to speak there full uh, keynote speeches were given and uh, yeah some of the pictures from that and what did you yeah. speak on there? There also uh, collective consciousness, mm -hmm. harmony, uh, evolution of consciousness, enlightenment. So basically, united consciousness conclave. So uh, Marsh's knowledge from Vedanta mm -hmm. connecting to the transformation of the collective consciousness and uh, effect of TM uh, in day-to-day -day life of the individual. So um, yeah, it was uh, given out in good. Uh, it was good, good conference because um, we got exposure to many, including the Ministry of Culture was present. Mm. It was co-organizing this conference. Mm. So um, from there also many leaders have, were there present. Yeah, I had uh, two lectures there. I was speaking about Maharshi's great work to bring Ayurveda to the Western world and bring it to a very high authentic standard. And then I had a second lecture just about uh, Transcendental Meditation and uh, people were very impressed with all the research on TM and we made wonderful connections to the leaders of so many spiritual movements there. 